Hello everybody, I'm a small investor and uh, I'm going to share with you my last position. I bought uh, a few days ago uh, rent, then uh, hospit uh, no hospitality, uh, healthcare rate, then uh, with the majority of this position in Indonesia. The name is called First Rate. And uh, I've been following this rate for a while. It was attractive uh, around a year ago, but I wasn't sure it was a bit expensive. It was uh, uh, worth it was uh, the price was uh, 1.3 Singapore dollar in average because it's a very stable rate. It has uh, 15 years contracts with this uh, with the provider of hospitals, then it can be renewed for another 15 years. So with the last turmoil, the price dropped from 1.3 to 0 0.4, more or less 0 0.39, and I decided to get my position at uh, 0 0.4. So. My buy pos I bought this position 0 0.4 uh, Singapore dollars, and uh, I'm going to explain to you why I bought it and the evaluation that I made it. So uh, this rate has a property in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, in, in Korea and Singapore, but the majority is in Indonesia, and uh, they have been run by mainly two companies. Uh, so they sub they let these uh, properties to two companies. And uh, in to, at the end of the, the year, for the change in the law in uh, Indonesia and the change of the contract is going to expire, they will need to uh, re, re, remake the contracts in uh, Indonesian rupees. So you, uh, the, 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 um, the contract will be exposed to more to money fluctuation. The Singapore dollar that used to be before the contract is going to be illegal here. So there will be more fluctuation in terms of um, the exchange rate. So the, you can have uh, the, uh, the rent can uh, change more. And also the provider actually uh, at the moment, uh, they found this rent unsustainable. So with the occasion, they are going to uh, rearrange the contracts and uh, it looks not really favorable for the REIT. So basically there will be a drop uh, of around 30% of the income of the rent then these companies will need to pay to to the REIT so and uh, the, the contract has been made these are the details you can see here is basically every year would be increasing 4.5% uh, accordingly to uh, the contract and uh, there will be also a position up uh, some uh, benefits from the performance of the hospital so the nav of the company will drop dramatically from something around one singapore dollar to 0 0.5 singapore dollar so there is a lot of uncertainty around the the company but it's still at 0 0.4 i believe is a good value so it's one third more or less the what i used um, what used to be worth it a while ago and it will drop most likely permanently, not permanently, but for the medium term, around 30% of the value. So I see this, this the value of the company in, uh, from here, one or two years, around uh, 90 cents, 90 Singapore uh, dollar cents. So I have an upside almost uh, uh, two times. Uh, of course, there is uncertainty. The, the major uncertainty is the company then uh, is renting won't accept the, this uh, proposed uh, new proposal. But uh, when you have eight hospitals and you have all the infrastructure, and uh, the, if you don't accept this condition, you can how can I say uh, try to find a different contract that is around that, but you cannot really walk away easily. Because uh, basically you go bankrupt. I mean, if that's the plan of the company. You're going to uh, the com the REIT is going to take the blunt of it. So it's going to be um, maybe the hospital vacant for a while till some other company will buy the bankrupt company. But overall, I believe in the long term is a pretty safe investment. At the moment, uh, the they've been uh, with the current crisis and Indonesia has been in recession for this year. Uh, the dividend has been uh, cut and now is around uh, sits around four or five percent uh, because um, they provided uh, rent relief to the hospitals. Then I saw a big hit in uh, in this uh, in the day by day um, customer base or so the clinics. And uh, what is going to be is most likely will go back to close to what it was to be. 
So at this price, the, the dividend next year could be seen around 15%. So I see as a good business, uh, it was a good business, uh, fairly stable. And uh, I, I have a good position for the long term. So please note then all this information that I'm sharing with you are publicly available on the first rate uh, website. So they all the information that I collect. If you uh, see something that I didn't see in the, in the company, I invite you to comment. If you have some uh, investment that you consider better than this one, please comment again. I invite you to follow my channel. So if you like what I do, you'll be updated with the new buy. And if I sell something because I changed my mind, but the condition have changed. And uh, thank you for everybody. And please be careful because we are in an investment bubble and uh, it's going to be kind of tough for many when uh, this bubble will pop. Have a good day.